I'm going to demonstrate the keyboard wedge capabilities for RFID on the Juno T41. We're at the main Android settings menu, and you'll see there's an RFID setup option there. So we go into that uh, submenu, and you'll see there's a trigger and logging options. That takes us to the keyboard wedge options. One thing I'll point out before we get there is you'll see that there is an action button and a search button. These are ways to match to map the hardware buttons uh, to uh, the scanning operation, and we'll use that in a minute. But right now, we're going to turn the keyboard wedge on. There's just a checkbox there. And then in that section, there's also uh, a way to set your metadata delimiter and your multi-tag delimiter. The, Metadata delimiter would just, it's set to a comma right now, so that would put a comma between the ID and the memory if you get data out of the memory bank. And then the new line would go between each individual tag that's scanned in. So let's go back out. And then we'll be ready for a scan. See, now that I have two RFID tags laid out on the desk, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the notes application so that we will have an application for the keyboard wedge input to go into and then I'll create a note opens it there for us and then on the side of the uh, T41 that middle button you've got the plus and the minus button and then the button in the middle is uh, one of the buttons that our RFID scanning is mapped to so when I press that button it will start up a scan let's um, go in there and you see it just read the two tags in. It actually picked up another tag that's here on the desk that's not in sight, so we got three tags there. Let me show you. And the uh, settings right now are set up so that it reads only the EPC, which is the ID off the tag. Uh, in just a second, I'm going to illustrate how you get the memory as well. Back at our RFID menu here, if you go to the tag data options, there's a checkbox there, include tag memory. If I check that, it will read by default memory bank 3, which is the user memory bank. There is a way to set it to use some of the other memory banks as well, but uh, we won't illustrate that. We'll just read what's in the user memory bank for the tags that we've set up. So let's go back out. And then I will go back into our notes application. I'm going to create a brand new note just so we start from the beginning. And now let's let's try another scan. And you see now you're getting all the data from the tags. Okay, and that's the uh, the IDs that we saw before followed by a comma, and then the data out of the user memory bank.